Hi everyone! Tom was here back at it with another mystery box. This time, this is actually from the Boo Box. Um, this is my first time ever opening up a Boo Box. And normally, the Boo Box is actually horror exclusive only. But they are broadening their horizons a bit. And the first one I decided to jump into is um, the View Askewniverse, a.k.a. the films of Kevin Smith. I think I've told this story on the channel before. Um, one of my friends dads who uh you know he's like you record stuff from the tv right he's like yeah he's like i want you to record this movie for me on cinemax at 2 a.m and i'm like i wonder what this could be um and i was like yeah i'll record it for you he's like everything it's in black and white and when i was you know i was like well i'm gonna watch what he's asking me to record and i figured i'd be getting into some avant-garde porno or something like that but it actually was clerks the first film with kevin smith and i was dying laughing I, I love just about every kevin smith movie they put out and i started actually watching an unboxing from josh's hoarder corner um about this and i had to stop at one point and i was like no no no, i can't watch any further i have to get one of these myself which is what i did but i will go back to josh's video after that but we are going to get into the boo box the view universe edition aka the films of kevin smith on tom was here Hey, how do you like this? I'm Daddy's Rail, and you're watching Tom Was Here. Okay, so um, I don't know a ton about this, and like I said, the one video I attempted to watch on it, I stopped after a certain point, hoping I would get the same thing in my box when I pulled the trigger. Um, but it is... Uh, Quite a few different items from the films of Kevin Smith. There's a little thank you card. Appreciate that. That's always fun. Like a small business type thing. There's a certain touch associated with it. And what I like just right out of the gate is that everything is like wrapped up. So it's not like you know, some other mystery boxes I won't necessarily mention where they just kind of throw it in a box. There's a certain additional level of wrapping everything up to it, which I, I do appreciate. Um, so that's really, really cool. Um, but first item here um, is oh, this is a a fun employee badge from Movies, um, which I see Randall showing up. Is there more than one in there? Um, or is it just Randall? Do you just get, like, one assigned name? I think it's just Randall. That's cool, though. Um, but, yeah, you just Randall, you stick to it, uh, and it's a Randall badge from movies. Very, very cool. That's awesome. I do have a... Um... <laughs> I was going to say a Wayne's World line. I do have an extensive collection of name tags and hairnets. But, no, I actually do have quite a few name tags that are sitting on the wall, and that one is going to be added to that. Um, from various other prop boxes and stuff. Well, here is the pin, and it's a that's a biggest. It might be the biggest pin I've ever seen from Mystery Box. I don't collect pins a ton, but this is pretty. Um, it's huge. I mean, it's it's a massive pin. This is from Tusk. This is actually one of the rare few Kevin Smith movies I have never watched. Um, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, and I was like, well, it's better to avoid this one. <laughs> um, but I've heard good things. I may have to watch it at some point. Um, but yeah, that tusk pin is massive. That is huge. Um, and it's, you know, real like nice enamel pin. Very, very cool. Um, so yeah, not bad. Um, oh, should I mention this is a 60, it was $65 box shipped. Um, and you're guaranteed a dual signed autograph in here. Um, but there's different variations. There's, I think there's variations in a whole bunch of stuff. And name tags and pins um, and just about everything, if I, if I remember correctly. Um, but let's see. Oh, a laminated... Uh, <laughs> a laminated uh, <laughs> dealer card from Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. And I believe I got the, uh, the Tracy Morgan edition. It's Pumpkin Escobar. You know, like... <laughs> I can't do a great Tracy Morgan, um, but uh, but yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's phenomenal. Uh, that's funny. Is yeah, that will um that will go in the cabinet of curiosities here. I love a good quality prop um, in this sort of thing. Um, so that is great. Uh, I do appreciate that. Um, so 
then we have a framed picture. Um, and it's from Mallrats. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's a sailboat. A schooner. <laughs> um, yeah, no. I uh, would be funny is... Is it actually in there? Maybe I'll stare at it for the rest of the video until I actually see it. No. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty cool, actually. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I was bummed out I didn't actually get to meet... Um... <laughs> uh... I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but it's phenomenal. Uh, look, this is a PG channel. There's literally no way I can PG this. I tend to be a PG channel. I try not to swear or curse or anything like this. Um, but, look, I just... Buyer be warned at this point. If you don't know the films of Kevin Smith, then... Uh, uh, this comes from Bootleg as Fuck Toys. Uh, that's, that's the name of the company. So I'm not saying anything out of turn. And I got an action figure. I guess you could call it an action figure. Um, but it's it's of 37 dicks. Uh, <laughs> look at them all in there. Um, and if you don't know, watch Clerks. Um, watch Clerk. Clerks will tell you all you need to know. Um, yeah. So that is, uh, <laughs> that's funny. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's funny just the same. Um, yeah. So then we have a comic book. Uh, it is a Jay and Silent Bob Quick Stops comic book. Um, Dark Horse Comics. Uh, that's very, very cool. Uh, very, very cool. Um, I, I didn't know. I, I would assume they would. They have done comics and stuff like that. But I actually, I'm kind of bummed. I uh, the reason why I stopped Josh's video is because he got this postcard, and it's not the postcard I got. Unfortunately, um, I would happily trade it with him or anybody to get the postcard because. Uh, this one is from Movies, Phoenix, Arizona. But the one he got was actually the Bean and Gone Coffee Shop from Zack and Miri Make a Porno. I actually did a YouTube video of filming locations because it's about 15 minutes from my house. <laughs> it's right down the road there. Um, so I, you know, it's a Dairy Queen now. And it's funny when I go there to actually get like a, you know, I'll get like a Snickerdoodle Blizzard or something, you know, like a eat something. And I'm just like, well, things happened here. <laughs> things happened, not just, you know, not just the um, the filming there, but if you remember some of the notable scenes that actually took place at that coffee shop, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I do kind of want that, um, that Bean and Gone uh, postcard because, like I said, it is right down the street, um, which is very, very cool. Okay, so we're going to move into the... Um, the big item here, and it's a cereal box. And I think, wait a minute, is there actual cereal in there? I I would assume it's a regular actual cereal box, which is pretty crazy. Um, but even crazier than that, it's a Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and it is signed by Kevin Smith and Jason Muse. Um, which is really, really, really cool. Um, that's, uh, that's amazing. Um, you know, because look, I, I, I respect Kevin Smith for, um, he, you know, for somebody that's directed, been in a ton of things, he has a reasonably priced autograph, but as far as this with all the other stuff in this box, uh, tremendous value. I can't say enough about the boo box. Um, they, uh, they put together a really, really fun box. I'm just, the only slightly bummed they didn't get that, um, that Zach and Miri uh, postcard. But beyond that, very, very cool. Okay, so let's see. Here's a little cheat sheet breakdown. Your dual side autograph is either a lunchbox. Ah, oh, 
I would have liked the lunchbox. I mean, cereal box is cool too. Don't get me wrong, that's awesome. But my guess is it's one of those like old timey style lunchboxes. I wouldn't have minded that. Um, but that's cool. Um, like I said, either one, you get your luck of the draw. And I did notice he had a promotion recently where I'm I'm late to the party. I had I've been sitting on this for like two weeks now. I was like sick last week, and I'm trying to get them. But but I noticed he's doing a promotion where if you get the box, which may be over by now, somebody I'm sure claimed it at this point. You get both. You would get both the cereal box and the lunch box because he said you'd get both variations, which is amazing. And that's incredible value. Um, so let's see. Uh, there were actually quite a few postcards, um, which interestingly enough, I'm looking at, oh, there it is. I was like, I'm interested enough. I don't, I don't even see the one I was going after. Um, but yeah, a VUSQ landmark or a nationwide movies pop up. And I got the Phoenix, Arizona movies pop up. Um, I got the uh, Pumpkin Escobar uh, Brotherhood of Dealers Union card. I got the Fun Employee of the Month. I got Randall. Um, I could have got one of four, I guess you could say, action figures. Um, there was a Mulrats chocolate covered pretzels. There, I can't tell what some of the other ones are. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I got uh, what arguably is the best and worst one. Um, let's see. Uh, one of four Kevin Smith comic books. Um, so I got a... Um, is that a... Let's see. It's issue number one. Uh, but yeah, there was a few different ones. There's... Oh, okay. The, so the pin, there was no variation. Uh, it was just that pin, which I understand. It's a giant, giant pin. Um uh, which, uh, understandably so. And then, <laughs> you dumb bastard. It's not a schooner, it's a sailboat. <laughs> and I'm just going to stare at it until I see it. You're going to have to deal with that. No. Um, no, all in all, what a fun little what a fun little box that uh, the boot box put together. Very, very cool. Highlighted, of course, by both a, you know, a Jay and Silent Bob, a, a Kevin Smith and a Jason Mews signed um, uh, box here, which interestingly enough, you know, I have a, um, a few different Kevin Smith items. I was, ha when they were doing the Reboot Roadshow tour, I, it was cool to meet both of them. I met both of them at the Oaks Theater. Um, I uh, met Jay when he was at Steel City Con a few years back. Um, so I met these guys a few different times, but I never really got anything that had both of them on there. Um, maybe I think I had one at one point that was the Jay and Silent Bob get old poster, but not something that was, you know, like cool like this, where it's kind of like a, a cereal box prop. So very, very cool. Awesome. Uh, awesome mystery box by the boo box. I highly recommend it. Um, I'll definitely be jumping into some future boo boxes on there. Um, but yeah, a, a fun little open. I love a good, um, like I said, some cool props. There's a couple different couple different props on there really nice pin uh cool legit autographs uh you know some interesting things to it but very very cool boo box you knocked it out of the park on this one i, I i'm i'm a big fan um, of uh you know the kevin smith movies and and i feel you put together a fun box for any true fan of the viewers universe but that'll do it guys thanks so much for watching if you are new here make sure to like share and subscribe. If you'd like to support me on Patreon like John Bailey did, you can do so. Link is in the description below. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, a Tom West here t-shirt, you can do so. It's red shirt, as well as links to my eBay store, Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, and the Pennsylvania Autograph Collectors Association. Links are in the description below. But when it comes to the next mystery box or the next video, I will see you soon. But until then, bye everyone.